Okay, got some metal for my neighbor's house. Okay, I'm gonna try to go to Richmond. The whole thing I tested, that had a bunch of stuff. He said someone came back and took some tools, but who knows what else they left. So I'm gonna go back and take a look. Hopefully, we'll see. Okay, air looks really good here. We had a really heavy storm came through here. It was an atmospheric river, like for two days. That's why I didn't even leave my house. You can see the water in the bin. So obviously, um, it does leak for sure you think it would be dry but it's not dry so anyways uh okay i found a builder he said yeah i could come we're looking at the garage he said it's all broken there already it took stuff already but i'm interested there was some john deere signs and stuff like that i kind of want to take if they're still on the wall there i mean it could be scrap metal so you know there's a bolt trailer i think there he said i can take the bolt trailer and i want to make tire crusher out of it i just have to get a big i-beam and hydraulic system and I need that boat trailer just so that it has a platform to sit on that can move it around so anyways we're gonna unload just a couple things in here watch the last of my video I found some appliances The fridge here. I was gonna cord his cuttery. Supposed to be some good weather for a couple days. I want to paint that bin too. Sounds like steel. I want to paint the bin on the inside. Okay, the rest you can see. A bag of bottles from the house. 
I'm gonna grab some tools. I think I want me to take a wall of drywall down. He's not answered well he said now he's in a meeting or something, so may do that later, it depends. Okay, I'm gonna unload this here, get some tools ready and then I'm gonna head out. Okay, stay tuned. Okay, I'm gonna take these tires back. Cause the awning guy should be coming pretty soon. I'm not sure when, but oh soon. Should be coming soon, that awning guy. Heavy little sucker, but it's not even that much water in it. Just hope they're open, otherwise I'll have to come back. I don't seem like that many tires. Takes up a lot of space.
figure I'm going that way anyways, might as well do it. Okay, here are those tires. And okay, we're at the tire place here. We got a bin there, one guy taking tires off already. So we're already loading a bin, I guess. We'll have to wait here then. Go directly in the bin. That's awesome. So they're dumping in bins now. They took one bin already. I think the problem is when it goes to the dump site, they want to be wasting some time like this unloading by hand. The last time they put it into a five ton. Now they're just putting in a bin to unload the bin directly, which makes sense. Fast unload. Okay, mission done. Tire is done. Got to clear a little space. We're heading to Richmond now. Uh, I'll tell you what came back when I go to the house. What, what asbestos issues are in that house and hopefully stuff in the garage well there was some HMS like uh, rotors and stuff and I'm sure stuff I take they don't take there's a lot of paints and stuff I want to see if there's something I could use any kind of uh, rust paint or something I can paint my bin it doesn't, doesn't matter color as long as it's something that's good okay stay tuned so back to this house here um, apparently the guy's not coming back so I can take anything I want well, but the guy locked the house up. But so I'm stuck with. Okay, let's just throw in. I'll grab those tires. They grab most of the signs, but there's still some signs left there. So it's apparently not come back. Because he don't want to talk to the guy after and stuff, but whatever. Oh, right my leg. oh yeah, lots of aluminum tires here. Oh. All full of water. There's a lot of waste here. Okay, well, let's steal. Let's get rid of this thing here. tires take aluminums for now a lot of stuff's aluminum actually
stuff is heavy stuff. So we got the four Michelins. It's in there for a long time. I think the builder came and took most of the stuff. His first friend, friend took some scalps. We said probably took all the cords, extension cords, but it's okay. I can still grab stuff. Are any good still? Five, five lugs, three quarter ton probably. Okay, let me load this up here, and then I'll film some more in a second. Oh. I just wonder if someone dumped all this here. I don't remember seeing all this stuff here. Because you said people were dumping garbage there. mixture there. Piece of aluminum right there. I don't think someone dumped a lot of stuff here. That's a big piece of aluminum here. Oh. So, I'll be taking as much as I can, I'll be filling the car up. There's still good stuff in the garage to take, like for scrap, scrap for sure. Aluminum and steel.
lots of aluminum here. All these aluminum decks here. Decks here. Probably worth giving my truck. Loading it all up. Load it up from that way. Break everything apart. Boom. There's a ladder up here too or something. Oh yeah, look at that, huh? That's like a scaffold ladder. That's all I have to do is grab my truck, maybe tomorrow or something. That scaffold I can sell. He's not coming back anyways, guys. said that he doesn't want nothing. Apparently the guy has cancer too, so... So I'm just not going to bother. I'm going to come up here for one more time. I guess someone dumped all the stuff and now it's it going to be all asbestos, who knows what they dumped here. Some more aluminum here, but I'm going to cut my feet up. stuff hmm toolbox too there who knows what's in it so the city's complained already on them dumping garbage okay, I'm gonna go around the front here in the park this garage here now so all the all the cords are gone the cords in all directions before so there's still stuff I can take lots of salvage there's a boat motor too see there's lots of like, new aluminum stuff like this different things Still gonna be a good good amount of stuff. See, left all these things here too. That's all aluminum. These are probably sellable because they're for scaffold on ladders. This is definitely sellable. Still some more John, John Deere signs, a couple more, taking this, saws, all kinds of saws around the yard, cords cut off and stuff, but even for aluminum that's heavy. Probably worth about 20 bucks each. Uh, used saws here, light saws. I'll take everything I can, fill this up. Maybe I can grab a van for that stuff. I can move all the stuff over. Someone's dumping stuff, all this stuff is all it's 
barbecue. Next grill. So I think the builder called the guy. The guy said I want nothing, so he told his friend, the guy's a bricklayer, to grab whatever he wants. So I grabbed a bunch of junk. It's another one, so it's five. I kind of want this trailer. Just because I want to make one of those things. Tire, tire crusher. I think I left them behind. I didn't take any glass. It's got water in it. More to those CC drills. Cords are cut, but doesn't mean it could still be good. If you have a long extension cord, sometimes the cords be uh, short like, like that. And the tool's still good. They spark. So we close the garage, I want to get some stuff in the garage. Grab some signs and we'll try. Hold for a second. Okay, hammer them with roofing nails. So they kind of screwed things up here, I think. So they're just gonna get destroyed more or less. Lots of lots of aluminum here. That's aluminum. Move a lot of things there. Let's leave those tools here for a second. So there. If I'd have known he's not coming back 100%, I would have took all those cords. Uh. 
That's a problem, like I say. You just don't know. They actually packed the guy's stuff up, whatever is good. They packed it up for him and took it to storage somewhere. So. That's kind of what they do. The bailiff comes in there and packs something up. Just taking everything, I guess, I can. PDPR, which is, I think it's my buddy, it's still probably still good. That's like $500. $500 to believe it or not, for this. It has everything there. It just needs the battery. So, you wash them on anyways. I won't wear it, but I have a new one already, but give it to my buddy, the motor works or not, the motor is like 200 bucks or something just for the motor. Okay, let me uh, round some more stuff up, I'll show you, I grabbed a few things earlier, I grabbed a saw here, even this thing here, I have batteries for this, it probably works. Lots of junk, but uh, still good stuff. So I got the boat motor, and it's a Honda boat, boat motor. I thought it was Johnson. It's an old Honda. It cr cranked a couple times, and it felt seized now. So maybe seized. I don't know. Any event is dirty aluminum. The other vice is uh, bolted on, which I might not be able to get today. I wonder how heavy this trailer is. I gotta bring in a fence Monday. heavy not super heavy hmm there's a lot of crap here do I grab it all or what do I grab This is flat iron. Oh, these are good cards. There's some old, old ones mixed in here actually. This one here. This one's an old one here. This, these cards are old. Look at that. That's a Gris, Gritsky era.
not the best treated cards, but hmm. chuck them away later. These ones are okay, but the condition, right? They get wrecked. There is some older ones mixed in here. It's a mixed bag. That's old here. That's old car too. The old one here. Condition, right? The one here. You can tell. Could be worth nothing. Problem is the condition, right? We could have a little berry, berry in here. Some are really new. Take it. Recycled paper. Ugh. Worst case scenario. Okay, hold on for a second. Nailed on there again, big time. Power cords there. Oh, that's a big cord there. 220, I need that. Hmm. Take a game two way, get another full one. This one's from Surrey actually. Six meters. Oh, it's a big ball here. There's more bocce balls, maybe or something. There's steel ones. So I grab the ramps, a bunch of ramps, saw blades, fallen, dragged, I just wonder if that was sold, it's a barcode, maybe they get decommissioned after all and they get sold. Oh, most of the Told the guy I would take the propane bottle here, so I'm gonna grab that. Two thousand sixteen. Thrift. Bank of. 
Iraq. Bank of Iraq. So that was money. So was another, another couple signs I missed. Look at this big thing. That's what I call a trowel. Holy smokes. How the hell would you use that? Never seen one that big in my life. Yeah. I still got some good stuff here. This is Valley Signs. They must lose a lot of signs or something. You find them everywhere. Everywhere you work. So I'm not sure about these bocce balls. Just be garbage, scrap. Are they magnetic? What do you guys think? You no know, steel, heavy steel. I find so many these saws, they're everywhere. They have a good mortar in them, this one's a heavy one. Okay, we're gonna fish around some more. More propane tanks. Okay, hold on. Okay, I thought I had the air bed here. I was like getting excited here. I got some goodies wrapped up. Oh, look at that. Oh, yeah. Wow, that's a perfume or something. Or it's a light fixture. Oh, it's a oh, hole. It's a lamp. Some sort of lamp in here. Or something. Oh, look at that. I gotta hit a jackpot. Heirlooms. There's coins here, too. This is obviously gonna be good stuff here. So. Directly take it. Here's some coins. Hmm. Could be some silver in there, maybe one or two silver, not a lot, but there's some silver in there. The hair it. Okay, well, that's a cute lamp. It's got the cord inside. Oh, that's an antique. See, you just never know. I thought it was going to be something good. I was thinking it was a pool or a, a floaty, twin bed floaty. Better check a little bit better in detail. You know, the other guys, they took tools and stuff, but 
Sometimes small stuff is what you want, where it adds up. Okay, let me put this in the car. Grab something else from my other hand. I'll reveal this uh, uh, maybe next video. I'm sure it's going to be good stuff in there. I've been loading a lot of stuff. Just in case those cards are good, well, there could be one, one or two good ones out of a thousand, maybe. Okay, hold on, I'll let you know if I find something else. Find another saw, sump pump, plastic case, but I can sell it as aluminum dirty. Tiger torch. Keeps on giving this garage. Pulls aluminum. That's kind of why we grabbed it. We grab a cutter because there's a lot of wire and stuff that I can throw in. Really sure what I have here, what kind of metal it is because it's uh has a brassy copper color. So, what is it? Some very heavy material. Let's see if I could, uh, not sure what it is. be brass. There's a brass color to it on the side. Must be stainless steel. Hmm. Well, it's a heavy piece. 40 pounds probably. 30-40 pounds. Keeps on giving this grudge. That's heavy. He's going to do the bench there against the wall. We we'll grab the sign off the wall now. Get cords there. So, I gotta put all everything that I really want. I feel like taking these tanks. I actually don't really want this one. This one's full. This one I don't want. I don't have the don't have the right uh, thing for it. Connection thing. That takes the old, old valve. That one has no safety on that, which I don't like. The other ones do. Just thinks so already in here. Just a little bit of gas. It's a full tank. This embassy grabs so much stuff. Charger. And the charger.
I'm going to go to my sign guy. Maybe you can put my sign on my van. How's oh, sticks in here? I'm going to get some air. Let's open it for a second. See that? Look at it, it's got a brass color. Look at that. I don't understand what it is. Unless, unless the bar wasn't. If you look from here, you know, it looks like brass. Unless they put a coating, brass coating on it or something. Hmm. That's what caught my eye is that color. Oh yeah, see that? That's how you can tell. It's stainless steel. See that? That's a trick you learned today, see? That's why they put a hangy on there. Because stainless steel is somewhat magnetic, but not really, but you know, with a, a strong magnet, there's a slight traction. I think there was something here. Another mm -hmm. aluminum thing I wanted. I remember I stuck it on top. That one or that polar. I think it's aluminum. Yeah, it's aluminum. This guy left so much crap here, this guy. It's ridiculous. I think I'm gonna have put all everything that I want for now. Chain here. Shovel. Okay, hold on. We grab the last final things here for now in the garage. The hockey one. Taking a different angle, I found this little pelt gun. Gun. I've found quite a few in the past. I gotta go because I'm gonna try to make that uh, sign place. It's have a really good load. I grabbed uh, three platforms just so that uh, I can. Uh, So I think it's a real gun. Hmm. Okay. Yeah, I grabbed three platforms. There's a bunch there and they're actually heavy. Actually really heavy, I was surprised. So big load. You tell me this stupid thing here. Oh, this thing opened here. I can't know why to do that. Okay, let me figure it out. I'll just show you the side load here. I'm very full. Okay, uh, I think that's it for the video. Or maybe I'll show you the sign if they put it on. Okay, stay tuned. I went to the printer guy. He had no time. He said it takes one hour to put that thing on, and I got there like quarter two. So, anyways, uh, I did get these ones here. 
So it's uh, 24K junk removal. My name with the wife's name. Website. Uh, it says services, full house cleanups, full worksite cleanups, order cleanups, e-waste recycling, demolition, renovation. And then it says small moves, deliveries, asbestos, asbestos testing and a lot. Um, 20 yard bin after hours work. But anyway, you can see it here. Maybe read it in better detail. So I got uh, two, 500 of these printed for 200 bucks. So not cheap, but it's nice. And I paid a thousand dollars for the paper ones. This is way nicer. And it's still slippery and nice. So this is probably more, more, more better, I would think. And I could put these through the mail too. Because I could pay the postman and they deliver them per item. I'm not sure how much you charge, but say I want to target an area of 2,000 in that area. That's what they do. They mail these out. But we'll see. But I'll put them on houses anyways that have a lot of junk in the yard. Especially if I do um, drive around Vancouver and stuff and alleys and stuff. I see lots of trash. I put it on there. Okay, I'm going to unload some of the stuff here. It's getting late right now. Ugh. So, a little red, look how low it is, I can't believe it's, it didn't even seem like that heavy stuff in there, I'm not sure where all, what all the weight is here, what all the weight is, there is a fair amount of stuff I guess, so I'm going to do some HMS in the corner, for now, and any of the scaffold stuff, oh, it's for the scaffolding, I don't know if they're any good or not, but uh, if I want to go back and grab all that scaffolding, I think I could make good money off that stuff. If I sell them for $50 each, scaffold frame, it's a lot of money there. <coughs> I have that dolly here. Maybe you, you put a mattress on it. You can strap a mattress to it, and one guy can haul it out. Let's drop something on there, anyways. Oh, it's actually pretty heavy, this thing. The woods are all, all shot. Lots of this stuff here too. But I'll go back with that that one there. I'll take the lid off, put it on the ground, and I put the trailer in, and put a scaffold in there after. Put the trailer on the side. Hang over the tip can hang over the front. You have to take advantage of stuff like this when you get it for free. There's lots of different scaffold stuff here. Oh. Four legs here. Oh, that's a lot of crap in here. Okay, I'm not going to bore you. I found this here. I thought it was kind of cool. It's aluminum too. That's perfect for the truck. A little stop. There's enough crap in here. And this was my highlight. Another day. Oh. I like that, that's awesome. Can someone use that? I don't think so. Pretty heavy. It'll be pretty strong. Let's uh I'm gonna show you that box here. Let me take that box out. I'm gonna go through it. Hold on. Look at my jacket on, it's cold. Look at some of this stuff here. This is not not old. That's silver. 
half dollar half silver hairs or something maybe I don't know. can't see hmm. I thought I saw another silver coin hmm. one silver for sure a half dollar anyways half dollars worth um, probably six dollars so we saw this lamp here Looks like it's in good shape. There's a jewelry box. Hmm. Main China. Main China. Horses here. I mean, it could be just junk, but I figure, you know, maybe if I don't do it now, they might miss it. So. Oh, that's for the lamp. Well, that's good. Hmm. Probably not old. Hmm, that's kind of neat, unusual, I like that, it looks older, they don't seem like that too often, that's actually pretty rare, it's like an egg, they don't normally come like that, okay well, you see it. This lamp is nice actually. Missing the screw. It must be like that. Hmm. I'm not sure if it's old. This I like. This is nice. Hmm. Very unusual this one. They were similar like that before. That that design, you know what I'm saying? Like an egg. That that goes home. I thought of my showcase. Okay, I think that's gonna be it on that. That's all I want to show you. Is at least to see that. We saw the hockey cards, nothing special. You have to go through them all. I mean there could be something there, but I doubt it. So this thing here got old cord on it actually I think it's missing something hmm it's kind of cute actually doesn't seem to be broken I'm still right here you mess your stuff this is junk Okay, hope you enjoyed the video. Have a great day. Thanks for watching.